I'm going to share my story, then we're going to get into this word. Because the Bible says we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And then he said the word of your testimony. Every person here has a story. What glorifies God is not all of our stories are the same, but what glorifies him is that he ends up in our story. So I'm originally from Chicago, born and bred. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. What? South town stand up. But I grew up in the housing projects on the south side of Chicago where my grandmother raised nine kids on welfare as a single parent. And when I was 10 months old, my mother was murdered at the age of 17. And so my mom had my brother at 14, had me at 16. She was shot in the head at 17. I've never met my father. Don't know who he is to this day. My uncle was in a gang. He was murdered, shot in the head at 17. My aunt was in a domestic violent relationship. Her boyfriend murdered her at 28. And I had another aunt that died at 15 from a brain tumor from asbestos in the projects. So my grandma raised nine kids. Four died. She raised nine grandbabies. So we slept three to a bed. A girl with the huge question mark on top of my head of who am I and why am I here? My freshman year, I was about five, four hundred pounds and I made the basketball team. Started as a sophomore, started as the only junior on varsity, started as a senior. I was turning by King, homecoming court, prom court. I was voted the most athletic out of my class. I was the most popular kid in my school. But nobody told me at the end of popularity was emptiness. Some of y'all trying to please people you will never see again in your life. When you graduate high school, there's a 10% chance you will see them again. So you going to lose you for them? No, 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 no. Don't lose you for people you'll never see. We often find ourselves willingly living in the desert, longing to be filled. God intended for desert places to be visited, not inhabited. Do you know you have an arch enemy who wants to ruin your life? Did you know that? He has a desire to keep you thirsty for things that can't satisfy you. Never allow another person's opinion of you to become your reality. You got to live in God's reality. He said, let there be light. How many guys know that light and darkness can't exist in the same space? It doesn't matter how dark your room is. If you come on and hit a switch, guess what? Darkness fails. God spoke to the chaos. He spoke to the confusion. And he said, let there be light. That's my declaration for you these next few days. Let there be light. Whatever you may be facing, some of y'all are dealing with some real stuff, depression, anxiety. Some of you are cutting yourselves. Some of you are engaging in things that's bringing death. I am declaring, let there be light. I'm declaring that you're going to allow God's spirit to do in you what you can't do for yourself. That the same God who created an atmosphere for Adam is the same God who wants to create an atmosphere in you. An atmosphere to receive, an atmosphere for change, an atmosphere for redemption, an atmosphere for purpose. Because God set Adam up to win. God set Moses up to win. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the disciples. But he set you up to win as well. So my prayer in closing is this, that in these moments, and you might be in a desert land, you might be in a dry space, you might be in the midst of confusion, you might feel like your life is in a wasteland, but I believe God is going to show up right in the midst of it and make everything clear so you can do and be exactly whom God called you to be. Amen. Let me pray. Amen. Jesus, I, I ask you to touch your people. Father, I pray that you do in us and through us what only you can do. That Jesus, what you did on Calvary, Pave the way 
for your spirit to not visit us, but to dwell in us. You said that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of us. So I pray that that spirit brings water and refresh into dry places in our souls. That we will be a people that choose to honor you with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our strength. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.